Hey guys, Darren here with Creativity Unleashed. In this video, I just wanted to show you guys the Z-axis I got from Carve Cut. Um, called the guy up and we had a good conversation about what would be best to use. And he made this here for me. And I don't normally show things in the box, but this is in a wood crate. It's pretty impressive. They got the Canadian square head screws, all duct taped up. It was, it was quite a surprise pulling this out of the mailbox. So let's get into it and show you what it's like. So here it is, it's pretty amazing. It has a floating head so um, when it touches the base metal, it sent, pushes this in and hits the switch, sends the signal back and lets it know that's the zero point. It comes back up and um, sets the offset for the piers. It also has right here a limit switch for the top. So when it's all the way into the upright position, it won't um, go too far. And it has a magnetic breakaway as a safety feature. So if you were cutting and like a piece gets turned up, and the torch catches it, it won't just like bust the system. These magnets are so strong that you really can't pull it off, at least I can, um, without using a screwdriver to separate it. So right here, get it separated. We have the four alignment screws. You can adjust them a little bit to set the, the leveling and to have it where it cannot move, where it really um, fits perfectly in the counter sinks they have. There's 10 magnets. And then we have the sensor, of course, for if it um, has to emergency, have an emergency stop because it hit runs into something. So it has all the features I was looking for in a um, Z-axis. It has a ball screw and the, uh, the nice slides in there. And it's, it's pretty much perfect for what I'm doing. The guy can change the bore for whatever motor you have. Um, I have an 8 millimeter NEMA 23, so there's the connection point for that. So it just looks like an amazing piece of equipment. Definitely would recommend it, even though I haven't used it. Follow along on Creativity Unleashed for the upcoming videos of building the CNC plasma table. Hope you guys found this helpful, and have a great one. Thanks.